Welcome back to another LSPDFR patrol for today's episode. We're trying out a callout pack. New to us, it's County Callouts by Able Gaming. This callout pack comes with approximately three or four different callouts, all located out in Blaine County. We'll be taking a look at those callouts today. We're in the 2014 Dodge Charger, part of Jedediah's pack. Uh, we've gone over this car or this pack before, so I won't spend too much time. We've got the light bar on to signal we are on duty tonight, and uh, we'll go ahead and see what happens. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me 1041 10 8. Copy that. One Lincoln 18, proceed with patrol. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that. Show me responding. Code 2. So we've got a report of an ATV accident all the way out in Cassidy Creek. So what we'll do is head over there. All right, we're almost there. This is a terrible time to get in an ATV accident. Visibility out here is super low. There's no lighting when it's nighttime. Out here in the wilderness. And I about passed them. Oh yeah, here's somebody right here. Let me go ahead. What we can do. Put on my traffic advisor. And then we'll use that light bar light the takedowns to illuminate this. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me on scene. Roger, one Lincoln 18. Oh God, yeah, we got one person down. Sir, can you hear me? I'm Deputy Sam, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Can you hear me? Hold here. Okay, he's gotten up. All right, sir, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get an ambulance out here. Go ahead, check you out. Ambulance, assistance required in Cassidy Creek. Go ahead, just sit down for me. I don't want you to pass out or anything like that. Are you understanding what I'm talking about? No, it's possibly as a concussion. I don't see any type of helmet on them either. So that could be a problem. Yep, EMS knows we're down here. In South Carolina, we actually have a law. It's called Chandler's Law. And when you're riding an ATV, I believe if, if it's you're under 16 years old, you have to be wearing a helmet because there was a, a really sad case like this where uh, a young, um, I think it was a, a young male was riding an ATV without a helmet and he flipped and I believe he died. And that's how the law kind of came into being. So uh, it's really important, even if you're above that age of 16, you should be wearing a, a helmet. Because ATVs, they can get up to some pretty fast speeds. And if you flip over, um, oh, this guy looks like he hit some rocks too. It could be deadly. So I'm gonna run a license check on, there he goes, on the ATV. Requesting license plate check. Target license plate four six Edward Edward King five seven two. Okay, and we'll go ahead and search it, and then we'll get a vehicle out here to go ahead pick it up and bring it back. Nothing of interest. Okay. I'm honestly I'm just glad we we're able to get out here for him. Requesting tow truck. Flatbed assistance required in Cassidy Creek. Right, I'm gonna move my car off the road so the flatbed doesn't destroy me.
All right, it's been picked up. It's going to be um, brought back to the owner where they can pick it up once they get out of the hospital. And like I said, the guy's super fortunate to be alive. Uh, I'm glad. I don't, I don't know. I guess he was able to call us. He is out here because I don't see anyone else around here. But imagine if you hit your head, fell into uh, the creek here. It could be very dangerous. So we'll go ahead and get back in the car and uh, be back on patrol. Copy that dispatch. All right, we just got dispatched to a call of somebody who has locked their keys in their vehicle. They're all the way out on Great Ocean Highway, so we'll head out there. This is not an emergency response, so we're not gonna be going code two or code three out there. Honestly, you really shouldn't be calling the police for a situation like this, but Regardless, we're going to go out there and check it out. So it looks like they're a little bit off the highway on one of these dirt roads. Okay, I see a car way up ahead. We'll go ahead and make contact with them. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me on scene. Acknowledged. One, Lincoln 18. Proceed with caution. How are you doing today, sir? I'm Deputy Sam with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Did you call us? Yes, that would be me. I feel so dumb. I went on a walk and came back when I realized I locked the keys in the car. Okay, no problem. Let me see if I can help you out. Good Lord above. Oh my gosh. Well, that's one way to help him out. He could have done that himself. Breaking, broke the window. So I broke the window to unlock the car for this guy. Oh, that's hilarious. And off he goes. You know, I didn't even check his ID. I didn't even verify that it was really his car. What you just saw, that was all like a cut scene. I couldn't really do anything. He just, uh, my character just goes up to that back window, breaks it and unlocks the door. What I would like to do in that situation, get his ID, make sure he doesn't have warrants out for his arrest, call in the car play and make sure the car is actually registered to him. I mean, these are things that a normal locksmith would do if you called them out in the same situation. They don't want to unlock the car for anybody. They want to make sure you're the actual owner of that car. So it's just funny that that little uh, scenario, but that was one of the call outs of county call outs. All right, we'll get back in the car and wait for another call. Dispatch, copy that. Show me responding. 10 4 1 Lincoln 18. Okay, so this last call out of the pack appears it's for a missing hiker in Raton Canyon. So we're going to head over there, code 2, to check it out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be the only officer there for the search party, but we'll get on scene and see what exactly is going on. This is great. We've got lion cats, mountain lions, all out here in this area, which is not going to be fun. Looks like there's a family member here. We're going to make contact. Dispatch, Lincoln 18, show me on scene. Roger, 1, Lincoln 18. Proceed with caution. How are you doing today, sir? I'm Deputy Sam with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Did you call the police? Their name is Jessica. I dropped them off earlier and was to meet them in three hours. When I came to pick them up, they're not here and it has been six hours now. Okay, Jessica, 
assume it's a female. We've got a last known location, gonna be this circle on our map. So we're gonna go ahead and search it. Looks like we're the only officer out here for this search. You know, seeing that mountain lion, it reminded me of this video that's gone viral. You know, I don't think we're going to be able to take the car down there. It's gone viral where a mountain lion was um, trying to chase off this runner or coming in its territory. I believe there's some young, um, you know, offspring of the mountain lion and the runner just happened to run into it while he was running a trail and the mountain lion chased him for what seemed to be at least half a mile till uh, I guess she thought that uh, her babies were safe, but it was kind of crazy. They can be very protective of their young apparently. And we already saw one out here tonight, so we're gonna be super careful. Let's start yelling uh, for this person's name. Jessica, can you hear me? This is Deputy Sam with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I'm here to help, can you hear me? A lot of flies. You know, you can easily fall down here. It's nighttime. There's a lot of places you can get stuck or hurt. Sounds like the family member has not really searched the area. They just kind of waited at the rendezvous spot, which is good because if Jessica actually made it to that spot, uh, you need somebody there. So a lot of times they'll tell you to stay in place if you're lost or you're waiting for someone. Hearing a lot of flies. Jessica, can you hear me? This is Deputy Sam, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. She's not in any of these bushes. And sometimes at nighttime, it's just too hard to search, so they'll call off the search until daylight comes. I imagine if she did have some type of cell phone on her, he would have already tried to call her. Checked by the water over here. You know, the other scary thing that's possible is a mountain lion could have gotten to her. Some type of wild animal. Oh, I see somebody walking towards us. Some type of wild animal, but um, let's see who this is. Jessica, is that you? Hi, Jessica. I'm Deputy Sam with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. What? Do you have any ID, man? Let's see some ID, huh? Let's see if this is her. Thanks. Jessica Anderson. Jessica, we found you. Uh, we were looking for you. Uh, were you lost out here? Okay, if you go ahead and follow me, let's get you out of here. I think we'll go this way. And we'll get her back up there safely. She doesn't appear to be injured or anything, which is really good. I'm guessing she just got lost somehow. Oh gosh. We made it back to the station. Jessica was able to be reunited with her family member. However, you saw when I was uh, getting attacked by that mountain lion, the game crashed, but everything ended well. And that's going to end today's patrol, taking a look at county callouts. Hope you did enjoy it. As always, I love to hear your feedback. Let me know down in a comment below and I will catch you guys on the next patrol.